let's take a look at the open source CAD repository for the MasterForge and then actually design something for the MasterForge together. Our community is full of so many different creative and competent makers that when we went out to create the Forge keyboard ecosystem, we didn't want it to just be the most customizable keyboard, but also the world's most moddable keyboard. So of course, while we'll continue to build out new bolt-ons and new add-ons for Forge keyboard, we also want to make sure that our users are able to create their own. That's why I'm so excited today to announce the official Forge keyboard CAD repository where all of our users can download, build, and design their own components for the Forge ecosystem for free. If you want to access that repo, just go to github.com slash carecorder, and the name of the repo is CAD. The first file in this repo is called bookend rail, and that is just this dovetail railing that is around the full perimeter of the master forge. So just take that CAD file and pop it in whatever software you feel like using it with. I got SolidWorks open here, and today I'm going to pretend that I am a user that is wanting to develop a custom bolt-on for my device. And I'll be using this bookend railing as sort of a blueprint to build off of. So my simple bolt-on idea is this. I would like to fasten both halves of the device together and simultaneously be able to accommodate uh, varying degrees of slope, negative slope, as well as tint. So we're going to need a, a hinge that allows for the devices to move like this, and then also hinges that allow them to move like this. And that way we should be able to accommodate any type of movement along those two axes. So I'll just offset the profile of the rail here. I usually go at about a fifth of a millimeter. You can go a little bit tighter if you're looking for a snug fit, and we'll just extrude that uh, down the full length of the rail for this design. So before we get too deep into the design, I just want to test out this very simple hinge mechanism. I went ahead and printed this prototype. So we've got a, a M3 socket head screw passing through these teeth. We've got a brass embed on the bottom. And we just want to test out that with varying degrees of tightness, where we have that range of motion and the resistance, which we would expect for a part like this. And we can just test it out on the actual bookend rails, um, playing around with it, and just kind of making sure everything feels right. I don't think we need to linger here. This is pretty good. I might adjust the spacing between these teeth very slightly, but um, but this is this is good. There's enough to move forward for sure. And we're going to offset those teeth for the inner hinge. And we'll have some uh, slightly thicker and longer teeth propping up our z-axis here. And that's pretty much it. We had to get just a little bit clever to make sure that our two outer hinges are staying planar, but really nothing fancy going on here. A very simple triple hinge design. I went ahead and printed out one more. So our three hinges, we have the center, then we have the right, and we have the left. Just a couple more changes um, I want to make, and then we'll test one on the actual device here shortly. Yeah, this thing's going to be very hardware dense. So we've got M3 screw, embed, M3 screw, M3 screw, embed, embed, uh, M3 set screw, M3 set screw. Those are the ones that are actually pushing into the bookend rails to keep um, lateral stability. And then we've also got uh, added a couple of threaded chutes here for lifters uh, to be able to support. And I'll demonstrate that uh, after this thing comes out. Well, let's put it together. All right, and there it is in action. That's, that's pretty rad. Definitely is, uh, is doing pretty much what we originally set out to do. And of course, you can adjust it if you loosen the, uh, the bolts on the top here. You can twist, and then there's also bolts uh, for the left and right hinges that you can access in the front. Tighten that up. A little 
bit of typing on it. As a side note, this thing very much has like a non-functional kind of fidget spinner vibe to it. It very much looks and feels like some kind of action figure accessory. Just uploaded them into the GitHub. So if you want to take a look at the Omni Bridge, as I have just named it, you can go check it out there. So there you have it. Let me know in the comments what your idea is for the next great Forge bolt-on or add-on so we can work on it within the repo together. Thanks so much for watching. This is week 32 of Caracorder updates every week until the whole world can type at the speed of thought.